These two evaporate as a part of a stage program. The first vessel went in last year, two more going in now, and then the last one goes in next year as part of the 2024 maintenance program. Four of the five evaporators at Kalami are getting very close to end of life at the same time. So seeing that coming up, we've taken the opportunity to replace all four as part of that program. We've tried to standardise on a lot of common design elements amongst these vessels, um, and these vessels have all been built in the Burdekin region by the workshop. So what you're seeing is the third of our four major lifts that need the superlift to go in. Um, superlift mode means there's an additional 200 or so tonne of counterweight applied to the crane. The largest lift was 95 tonnes, that's uh, probably a new record for the region. Um, the reason we've tried to do these major lifts is based around timing. Um, the idea is we've got a restricted maintenance season, we need to get all the work done in a short, short period of time. And part of that involves preparation and trying to do as much work on the ground as we can before we get access to the factory. My role as a project engineer, um, and I was first involved in this job going back probably three, maybe even four years ago, where we started considering replacing these vessels together rather than as individual assets. Um, a lot of planning went into the beginning of that to try and plan out how the work would proceed so that the four jobs would work together. Across the whole program, we're spending about $25 million. Um, individual vessels, by the time that they've been fabricated and installed, are about $6 million each. I suppose it's satisfying to see all of that planning and preparation and forethought that's gone into this, not just by myself, but everyone involved, um, turning it into real, real replacement and knowing that it's going to set up the factory for a good crushing season ahead and years to come.